Hey Facebook, it is Paul Evenson, Local 5 News. Um, how's everybody doing today? We are, uh, I, have, I have made the move, maybe some of you tuned in, saw my earlier Facebook Live um, out at the Marigold Mile, which will be my story later today on Local 5 News. Uh, but I'm also stopping by here in Little Shoot on my way back because something very special is taking place here. We're talking about a Doctor Who con here at the Little Shoot Public Library. So for fans of the TV show, you may be um, very well versed in all of this craziness that you see behind me going on. Uh, for others of you, it may be more like Doctor Who. So here to explain, I help explain some of that, Amber Lox, who is with the L L Little Shoot uh, Public Library. I'm going to turn around so you can see uh, this lovely lady here. Amber, hello, thanks for joining me. It's actually Aubrey. Aubrey, Sorry. Aubrey, no, oh, I said Amber twice too. <laughs> it's all good. It's thanks. my honorary name. Yeah, thanks for <laughs> correcting me. All right, so it's Aubrey Lox. My bad. My apologies, but we are here at this Doctor Who Con. Tell me a little bit about this. This is yeah. This is craziness for a new a new show fan like myself. Yes. Well, Doctor Who is going to be a show that is run by BBC. It has been around for it feels like forever. So much so that the original Doctors, which is your main character for every season, was at one point in black and white. Ah! But we're excited. What we have here today is just all things Doctor Who, but also crafts, etc. Showing your love for the library too. But uh, as you look around, you're going to see those little like machine-like creatures. Those are going to be. Daleks brought to us by the Milwaukee Dalek Asylum. We got some people who actually made them and they've made about 14 of them. As you continue looking around, we have escape room. They have brought their TARDIS. It is huge and you can go in. That's the thing that looks like a, you know, old box to call people in that don't exist anymore. Ah. But that's the going to be the way to time travel in the show and you can do all kinds of puzzles with them. Uh, for those of you who love, love, love Doctor Who, we do have merchandise to buy, courtesy of Cult of Geek, and we have all kinds of comic books to buy, games to play, and you know, it's a lot of fun, and we also have different crafts going on too, so. All right, Melissa's watching, and she's asking us to uh, to show off the TARDIS a little bit. Oh, so let's go follow, follow me over here, Aubrey. We're gonna show this off a little bit. Here's our friends at the escape room. Hi, guys, thanks for being here. All right, so we're going to give a little little closer look, uh, folks, a little closer look at this TARDIS. So, so tell me what we're looking at yes, here. Yes, this is going to be that lovely blue box there. What it is is it's used for the different time travel, so that's why we see people inside. Uh, but it's definitely a great moment to feel as if you're one of the characters. It opens, it closes, it's huge, and it was once used for different puzzles by escape room. So that's how we got to have that here today. Very cool. All right, and we're gonna walk over. We got to take a look at some of this stuff over here too. So, all right, tell tell me about these guys. I know we got three of them in the room, but yes. this is a little closer look at one. <laughs> yes, this is a Dalek. Which <laughs> Um, the Dalek, it's going to be, you're going to hear lots of exterminate because that is what they do. They're not necessarily creatures that you're happy to see in Doctor Who, but we're happy to see them here. Uh, we even have one that you can fit in and voice, so that's definitely great too. And of, of course, um, they are uh, they are definitely a hit with the younger Doctor Who fans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as uh, we see one making its way around the room, and uh, yeah. They're not afraid. So and, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Calling out the charge to exterminate. Yes. All right. Well, uh, Aubrey, this goes on uh, for a couple more hours, right? Yes. We so, are going until 4 p.m. today. Cool. Very cool. Uh, and you said this. Uh, I know you had mentioned you you kind of organized this Doctor Who yes. con because of the success of another event that you had previously. Yeah, well, about a year or so ago, we had just a whole collection of the old Star Wars uh, action figures, and people came from all over to see it, and so then we thought we would take the nerdiness and apply it to another thing, and we're going to keep it going after this successful event, so keep your eyes peeled for the next con that you may have heard of or not heard of. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, Aubrey, 